Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the No Code series plan. In this episode, we will be looking to finish up our agile setup for our leave management app. So in the last episode, we got as far as creating an agile group, a agile board and backlog, as well as a release. So this gives access to Emily Johnson, our citizen developer, to be able to populate that particular backlog with stories so in this episode we'll be asking chuck our business user or ai friend for some sample stories for us to use and we'll should be using those as a baseline for our development so if we start the timer we will go into the creation of the stories and we may not get through the actual uh, creation of all of these stories in this session i might just do a few leave it where it is and then afterwards kind of do these um, between this and the next episode so I can show you the full list. So let's start the timer now. There we go. Right, so we have our backlog. We're ready to create stories as Emily. Let's go into our AI bot and start to ask for stories. For the objectives and goals given could you create um could you give some sample stories for the app development especially around i think whether whether we want to be very specific here um whether we want i don't know i'm, I'm kind of in, in, enticed to see what comes back if we just go for app development um within app engine studio therefore no no slash low code I, i'm interested to see what's come back because um i don't want to specify too much and just you know try and drag it down one particular avenue i kind of want to leave it up to ai to see what it would suggest it's be an interesting challenge. So like I say, I'm only going to create a few of these um, within Agile, given the time frames, but then I will insert all of them in by the time the next uh, episode comes. So hopefully it will do something about, you know, requesting... Um, uh, requesting, uh, obviously, leave... Um, Right, let's see. So, as an employee, I want to be able to submit... A there we go, perfect, right. These are very generic, and that's good. That's good for us. So, let's get the, a couple of these in, shall we? Create story. Now, so I'm not going to go through everything. I haven't linked everything in. I haven't created themes, epics, etc. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a different series around Agile. Um, but uh, let's just enter this into the um, short description. Uh, well, description, sorry. Um, so this is a uh, leave request. Leave request form. I may well ask it for acceptance criteria as well. We should have the release available. We do indeed. Leave management app. And we should have the HR team here, HR apps. And I can assign this to Emily. So we have majority of the information that we need on the form here. I will ask it for acceptance criteria as well. Could you give me acceptance criteria for the above stories too? So we'll just wait for that and copy paste in. Um, here we go. Except this is so good, isn't it? I mean. I think as a means of just to give you additional, you know, thoughts, different things to think about. Not necessarily everything is, you know, best practice, what they give and things like that, but it's very good. Good at giving you samples, I think. You should then take your them samples to, to add a bit more context to them, if you know what I mean. So that's going to take a little while to go through. I wonder if I can just copy and paste while that's doing stuff without breaking it and uh, can I just paste there we go interested to see what come up on here 
So our acceptance criteria, the employee can access the leave management app from their ServiceNow dashboard. Interesting. Um, dashboard could mean anything there. So, um, so this is what I mean, that you should use this and validate everything that comes out of it. The employee can fill out a form. Okay. Right, yeah. Includes fields for start and end date, type of leave. Okay, that helps us to know what we should include on the form. Can split the form electronically. The um, the form is routed to the appropriate manager for approval. I think that's perfect. So this is really the request in itself. I don't know whether it's got something else for the workflow, but I like it. That's a good sample story for us, isn't it? So I'm just going to submit that and keep that in the backlog. Here he is. Let's do, we've got 18 seconds left. Let's do one more story and then I will fill in the blanks afterwards. So, perfect. As a manager, I want to be able to view and approve or deny leave requests within the app. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the app, does it? But, um, good story. So, um, we'll call this short description manager approval. Let's fill in the blanks, release, assignment group, and assign to. Let's grab the acceptance criteria. Copy. And uh, paste this in. Fantastic. Submit. So we're really starting to build up our backlog here. So I will now continue and put in the rest into here um, without taking too much time up on the, on this uh, series. But I'll, um, yeah, I'll finish that off and show you in the next video. I'll catch you then.